Hey everybody, how's it going? Stella Stare here. It's a uh, nice gray rainy morning here at Fort Rucker. So, what does that mean? Perfect time to record a YouTube video. So, like I promised in the last video, we're going to wait for it. I think I have to sneeze. Come on, come on. All right, much better. <laughs> Anyways, um, we have our. <laughs> That ruined me. That ruined everything. We're going to do a little adventure episode. So we're going to go in a direction that I don't think I've headed in yet. And we're just going to see what we find. Hopefully a different kind of biome. Because this is pretty much the only biome that I've found in this world. Is this like grassy or mountain biome. But I'm looking for desert. Um, Miz Miz Mizoan? Is that what it's called? I don't know. We're going to find out. Anyways, this is the only progress I've really made on the stables. Um, on the whole build itself actually. As I've kind of designed the stable. It's not bad, I need to put some lights in it, got some kind of uh, upturned dirt here for the floor, and I, I really like it, so we're going to see how it goes. But, enough of that, let's get to adventuring. So if I needed more wolves, it's good to know that there's a ton right here, and pumpkins, probably because we're in that mountainous biome. I should also mention that we brought two leads in case we need to drop the horse somewhere, we bought emeralds in case we find, find, in case we find another village, and we have some good trades, so we're going to see... What we come up with. And then the compass, as always, because you should never go exploring without one. All right, so I guess this is our like, first find here, is we've got these uh, dark oak trees. So I'm going to try to collect a sapling from them. Um, I don't really use many different wood types, but I think I should be. So that's why I got that jungle sapling, and hopefully we'll get some saplings from this. So, more to follow. All right, we found llamas. So, you know, on the way back, if I... Find them again, I'm going to attach a lead to one of them and just drag them behind the horse like we used to do in like medieval times or something because that's uh, that's humane. So as long as Peter doesn't watch the video, we should be fine with that. All right, so I have no idea what this is, but... Uh... Oh, it's a village. Oh, sick. Okay, well, also while we're here, let me just sleep real quick. Okay, that's... Shoot. I need a bed. I need a bed. What the heck? Are there no beds in this village? There we go. Also just left the horse out there, even though I brought the lead, so, uh... Hope he's okay. What do we got? Uh, spruce sapling. That's pretty cool. Some bread and some potatoes. Don't need any of that. I'm gonna take the bed with me. Alright. Cool. Found a village. And, like, a cool mountain village. So, that's pretty neat. Again... About the horse. I should really go tie him off somewhere. So let me go do that. Otherwise, we're going to lose our horse. So we lost the horse. Uh, I don't know where he went. He was right here. Son of a gun. Bro. Dude. What? Found the horse. Okay. So we're going to tie him off to this guy. So pop off. I almost brought the mule for like um, storage because that makes sense. Uh, a chest plate. That's pretty sick. And an apple. Well, I don't need the apple. I'll take the chest plate. Um, the campfire is pretty cool. I don't need to take that. So I don't think these villagers have much, like, trades or anything like that. Because they don't look like they have jobs. But it's still a pretty cool village. So we're going to check them out and see if they have any trades. And then look at any chests that we can find. Alright, so we didn't find a ton. We found a smithing table. And that's really about it. All the villagers, like I thought, were, like, nitwits or just didn't have jobs. And so we couldn't get anything from them. But we found a bed, a smithing table, and I guess a cool village. So... That's a plus. Everything to my right there is like this huge ocean, which you can't really cross with the with the horse. So we're just going to keep going this way. I don't really understand why these biomes are so freaking huge, because it's not like I chose that world setting that has the massive biomes. But, uh, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it, except just keep walking and hoping we find something. Okay, so we found a witch, and I want to attack it. For the sake of doing something. Okay. Please. Frickin' cow. 
There we go. That was actually pretty easy. And we get to get all our arrows back. Alright, well that was super anticlimactic. I wish Wish Hoods had like a uh freaking um chest in them, but they don't, and all we got was some empty glass bottles, so. Is that a win? Mm. Alright, dope. Found another village. So we're going to explore this one for a minute and see what we can find. And I'm even more hopeful because we've got these bricks. So, kind of different. Yo, this is kind of sick. They have like a little, little like shop set up. That's kind of dope. I've also decided that like a true village pillager, I'm going to steal all of their mossy cobblestone. So, that's what I've been doing. Alright, I see hope for a new biome, possibly a snowy one, so we're headed that way. Oh wait, no, it's a freaking desert biome, which is freaking dope, man. Because I've been looking for a desert biome forever, I feel like. Definitely going to take a cactus. Oh man, I'm pumped. Yo, I'm not stopping until we find a desert temple. Okay, this is dope. It looks like we've got some ruins or something like this. That's pretty sick. I think this is a part of like the underwater thing. Emerald, a gold helmet, wheat. Okay, nothing great, but still kind of cool. Our horse is right there. Let's not lose him. Definitely taking all of this. And then there's another... There's a quite a few more things that I want to go explore while we're out here, because I see them. Um, this will be cool for the castle. Okay. Um, yeah. Be right back. So it's really hard to see, but I think there's another village over there. So I'm going to go check. So I'm definitely thinking village. I just posted up the horse um, across this side of the river. Got some SAA trees, acacia, however you want. I don't know how you freaking say it. But this is pretty dope. So maybe find some more villagers, find some cool stuff, get a sapling, and, and uh, roll out. Well, this is pretty sweet. I found like an empty map, and I right-clicked, and it shows everything. So that's pretty dope. Yo, okay, we got... Four pieces of obsidian. I do need an iron helmet because mine is donezo. And then put that back. Two diamonds. That's huge. More apples. All right. Good find. This village is so cool. Like, I love the look of it. The villagers look pretty neat. And uh, it's just really neat. It's like a, like, I don't know. I mean, I don't even know what style to call it, but it's really dope. So we're going to keep exploring this for a bit. All right. And uh, I think I saw a desert temple, or at least a desert well, back in the desert. So we're going to head that way. All right, back in the desert biome. We got back to our horse here, so we're going to leave the boat. Don't want that. <laughs> going to take all of this and skip out on the horse. We're going to head towards the uh, desert well temple thing that I saw and uh, see what we find. Oh, team, I think we got super lucky. I think it's a desert well, or at least a desert village. Man, we found so many villages, as well as super heavy village population. However, it's just, uh, yeah, man, look at this. This is so sick. Oh, all right, let's hop off of uh, this guy here, post him up. Oh, no. So I almost bought, brought, not bought, Striker. Uh, or Paladin, whatever his name is. Man, these guys are so cool. Man, they're sick, dude. Look at these guys. Alright, they're all nitwits. They don't have any jobs, unfortunately. But they're super cool, and I love this village. What? Yo, man. Two super cool villages, like, right next to each other. This is so cool, y'all. So, I think we found one, but it's not as grand or, like, big as some of the ones I've seen in the past, but I think it just might be buried. God, not again, man. All right, we're going in. Now, these things are booby-trapped, if I remember correctly. Really don't know. Let's go. What do we find? Nothing. Ooh, a saddle. <laughs> okay. Maybe jump the gun on that one a little quick. Uh, I guess I definitely don't need that. Emeralds. We'll take those. Tons of gunpowder in here. Riptide 3. I don't know what it does, but that's another saddle. Oh, I can't stack saddles. Okay. 
Curse of Binding. I don't I mean I don't think that's useful. I'm gonna do some quick research real quick. Uh Golden Horse Armor, do I need it? I don't know, that'll be one of the first things to go. Okay, hold on. Alright, so what I'm reading about Riptide is that when I'm standing in water or I'm standing um in in rainy or snowy conditions, I think those are the, the means there. Uh, I can basically toss the trident, and it'll, well, that was weird, it will, uh, like, I'll travel with it, so I can travel when I throw it, so that's pretty sick. Um, my inventory is pretty full, there's really not much else I want to get rid of, so I don't think I want to explore anymore, so I'm going to start heading back, however, I've got this all screenshotted with coordinates and everything like that, so I will be able to come back to it. I'm going to start heading back. I'll uh, start recording again if I see anything pretty neat, but probably close to an end of our exploring. Dang it. <laughs> All right, here's the real test here. What happens when I do this? Is the horse going to float or is he going to die? Oh, he floats. Okay, we got this. Oh, yeah, too easy. You know, I figured we might come up on one of these, and I almost didn't want to because it's going to have a treasure map in it and then I'm going to have to go find the treasure because like what else do you do? All right, let's explore this. Dang it, this going to be it's going to be kind of hard cuz I don't have a uh <laughs> or just shoot straight through the boat, Sam. That works. All right, found the buried <coughs> treasure map. Golly, what in the heck? All right, so there should be a chest. Yeah, I see it. Okay. That's it. That's what I came all the way down here for. All right. We're almost on it. All right, well, it's been like 15 minutes. I'm still, I'm like right on it, man. I just, all right, I'm freaking convinced that this treasure chest doesn't actually exist. Oh my gosh, 30 minutes, son of a gun, dude. Look at where it was, dude. All right, I'm going to go ahead and say that was probably worth it. Man, that was crazy. That took five ever. No. Not another freaking crash ship, dude. This is just, just my luck, huh? Here we go. Okay, well that one went much better and I found it pretty much right away. And it was useless. This is pretty sick. I don't know what this is. Yeah, especially since it's just, I. this is kind of adorable. It's like just a few baby donkeys. Oh, no. No, it's got to be a glitch. I didn't lose the horse. Oh, no. Shoot, man. I must have, like, gone through the freaking packed ice and lost the horse. Okay, good news, everybody. I found the freaking horse. All right, we're going to attempt to make this happen, but we're going to try to bring a llama back with us. Okay, so apparently I can have two animals, like, bring two leads. I guess I can do it with as many as I want as long as I have multiple leads. So, if I come across more llamas, I'll get more llamas. So, man, I almost got the freaking llama back here, guys. He's, like, actually less than probably... Well, almost at a click. That's weird. Anyways, uh, maybe three or four chunks back. But I'm just... I'm over it. I'm over llamas. They're stubborn. They break the leads every five seconds. Forget the llamas, dude. We can find more llamas later. But, man, I drug this thing, like... Man, like, chunks and chunks and chunks. Whatever. I gotta get this guy back somehow through the nether, so that's not gonna be easy. Not looking forward to that. Well, I just sent the horse through the nether, so let's see where it comes out on the other side. So, this is about to be really difficult. So, I had to leave the horse uh, way back there in the nether because my pickaxe broke, because, you know, it's an iron pickaxe, and this is a ton of nether brick that I have to mine out to be able to get him back. So... It's going to be one hell of a project trying to get him back here. All right, guys. So we're going to end this episode back at the uh, the castle here. Not the castle, the stables and the farm. We're going to have to go back to the horse next episode. I'll probably do that in my free time just so we can get him back. That's going to be kind of a project to mine out all that nether stone. But other than that, pretty good exploring uh, episode. We found an ice and like snowy biome, found a desert biome, an ice a biome, whatever that's called. So pretty dope, found a desert temple, multiple villages, got to see some cool things. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more exploration videos, let me know. Kind of hope not because it took like three hours and then I tried to get that friggin' llama back. Whatever, we'll deal with it. Like this video if you can, helps me get the word out and spread the videos on YouTube. Subscribe for more and as always, thanks for watching guys. This has been Sterlis there.